everyone. This is Mark Atwood on the OpenShift team at Red Hat. And today, I'm going to demonstrate our new cron support. Cron is a way of scheduling recurring tasks to run on a regular basis. First, we will create an application. The command to do that is rhc create app dash t for the application type, in this case, a PHP application, and then dash a and the name of the application we want to create. We enter our password and wait for a little while for the application to be created and for the DNS to be propagated. The application is now running. Now we need to actually add the cron support to it. In OpenShift, extensions such as cron are done in the form of cartridges, and cartridges are embedded into applications. The command to do that is rhc ctl app dash a in the name of the application, then dash e for embed, add dash, and then the name of the cartridge you want to install. In this case, it is cron dash 1.4. We enter our password and wait for a bit. The cron cartridge on output tells us exactly how to use it. It says to create a .openshift slash cron directory in our application, and then we can create a directory under that named minutely, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. And then we can place scripts inside those directories, which will run on that basis. Let's do exactly that. Let's create an, a script which will run once a minute. So we go down into the application DOM directory that was created for us, and then into the .openshift directory, we will create the cron directory, go into the cron directory, and create the minutely directory. We can at this point also create the hourly, daily, and weekly directories, but we don't need to for this example. We go into the minutely directory, and we will create our script. We will call the script TikTok because it runs once a minute. And the script is an ordinary bash script. It has nothing to do with the fact that this is a PHP application. What our script will do is we will run the Unix date command and append the output to a log file in the OpenShift log directory. Notice I'm using the OpenShift log dir environment variable. You should always use these environment variables such as OpenShift log dir instead of hard coding paths into your application whenever possible. We will call the DOM log file that we're creating tiktok.log. Now we need to actually add this to the Git repository. The command is git add tiktok. Now we go back up to the root of our directory, well, the root of our application, and we need to commit and push git commit dash a dash m add tiktok script. and then do a git push. This will take the changes, in this case, our new TikTok script and the, doc, and the cron directories, and we'll push them up to the running image. Now, we should go check our mail, grab us some coffee, and let this run for a little while. And now some time has passed. This cron script is supposed to have appended to a log file. OpenShift has a way to access the log files of an application. The command is rhc tail files, then the dash a and the name of the application, then dash f, and then the file that we want to look at, cht slash logs slash tiktok. Dot log. Enter our password 
Wait for it to find the file. And there we can see it has run three times. It will sit there tailing the file, and there it has run a fourth time. It will sit there tailing the file until we hit Control C. The TikTok script is running once a minute as we expected. We can create similar scripts that will run once an hour or once a day, once a week, or once a month to do such usual, useful activities as compact and compress databases, clean up temporary files, do backups, and run analytics. That's all there is to cron scripts on OpenShift. As always, if you have any questions about OpenShift, come to our forums or talk to us on IRC. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next week.